Sometimes life doesn't go to plan. Actually, sometimes life fucks your plan and you need to step back and reset. <laughs> So tomorrow I'm going to Albania to film a YouTube video. Do you want to come to Albania with me? I just signed two clients this week, which is fucking amazing. Now I'm going to have monthly work, which is good for like rent and bills and stuff. Today we, well not today, tomorrow we are going to Albania, to the mountains, to solo trek through the Alps. Recently, I feel like I've just been going at 100 miles an hour. That's the reason I haven't been able to upload any videos, make any films, just do anything that I necessarily want to do out of passion. I just wanted to get back in front of this camera and this audience and my YouTube personally. So welcome to the dock. <laughs> uh, I'm becoming a vlogger, but I don't know if I'm going right. to be able to like get an audience if I'm just doing regular shit. Right. I'm going to make you go on tomorrow. Yep. I say bounce that shit like whoa. Yeah, bounce that shit like whoa. This is not a fairy tale. I already know how you like it. Thank you, cuz. Round your city, round the clock. Everybody needs you. Oh, you can't make everybody need you. Although you got Buku family. So everything that could have gone wrong today went wrong. I'm running on three hours sleep and I've just traveled from the UK to Albania, but I still got a little bit of work to do. So I'm gonna go sit outside in the hostel, it's quite nice. Okay. Okay. Hey, somebody got a Jay, I can like that. I'm a rolling stone. stone. I'm too wild for you to own. So, just a little update on what's going on because it's been quite confusing so far. I haven't actually had time to sit down and talk to you guys and tell you what's happening. Just being able to shoot some like one off shots on the bus and on the train and just wherever I've been going. My flight got delayed because someone had to go to hospital on the flight. So it means I turned up to Albania late and then the bus yesterday departed before I could get there. So I had to book a random night in a random hostel and come up to this mountain town today. I'll show you some clips of the hostel I'm staying in. So the trek can't be started tomorrow, but I've got space and I can still do it. If I'm quick, I can get back to London in time for my client work. You see me on my laptop a lot. And people kind of say like, doesn't being on your laptop ruin the entire trip, but I have work to do. I would prefer to be out here and do my work. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, it's top secret project. I'm basically just scripting some videos for a couple of e-commerce brands I'm working with. And then also I'm just editing. I had to do some unexpected payments like Ubers and trains and stuff here. So I really just wanted to make back a little bit of money by doing some free life editing. a magic arm basically allows you to like clamp your camera on so it goes here but you shouldn't really be clipping it to albanian bikes Here's a nice car. I don't really want to film this. Can you can you see me? Can you see me? Yeah. We're in theft in the mountains, like the actual mountains now in a remote village. Before we were in a city in the mountains, and now we're in the actual mountains. This hostel is fucking unreal. Let me show you everything. This is the hostel. <laughs> this is like the little river. I don't listen. Amazing. Probably rivering and stuff. Um, this is like a really cool freaking bridge over the river. It has the same sound, river sound. This is the farmer dude. Over here. It's pure vibes. Is it okay if I take your picture? Is it okay? Uh, yeah? <laughs> Here's some really nice washing. 
No. Oh, you got it all. <laughs> hey. So it's been like five hours since I showed you all of that kind of stuff. I've just been editing. Like, I've been editing this video. Though I haven't really explained what I'm actually doing and what I'm trying to do with this new dock. And I'm calling it the dock because I want it to be different from a vlog. If you've been here for a while and you're a subscriber and you've watched some of my films, you might be confused at like why I've pivoted. It's just easier for me to do in this stage of my life. Like before I was so obsessed with just learning cinematography and trying to become a YouTuber and blow up my channel. I just went after what I thought was the best possible film to make, which kind of meant I was less authentic. And I'm not saying I don't want to blow up on YouTube. Of course I want to blow up on YouTube. Everyone that does fucking YouTube wants to blow up on YouTube, but I'm not trying to sell anything here. I'm not trying to monetize every single video I make. I genuinely just have a passion for filmmaking. I love the process. I love coming to these beautiful countries. And I feel like I've formed a small community I mean, I've got like 900 subscribers, but the people that watch my films and interact with every single one of my posts, I feel like they know me and I know them and we're kind of in this together. Like I have some exciting things planned. I'm going to Turkey, then I'm living in Greece for a month and this entire time I'm just building my company in front of you guys. Yeah, it would make great films, but if I could just document it every single week and just be myself and not be scared to talk to the camera for a sustained period of time, then maybe I can build a larger community on here. Maybe the people that watch my videos want to do something similar to me. Maybe you're interested in filmmaking. Maybe you want to be a digital nomad. Maybe you want your own business. Maybe you just fucking like dogs as much as I do. Like whatever it is. And this lifestyle, it has positives and negatives. I'm in the fucking Alps. And I just finished a five hour shift on my laptop. Like that's crazy in itself. That's only something you can do in the modern world. But also my last two days, I've just been on buses and just sleeping in random hostels, completely alone, just too tired to even spark up a conversation with strangers. So I guess the dock is meant to be the good, the bad and the ugly and just me, like genuinely just me being me. And I'm learning how to speak to the camera. I'm learning how to make it entertaining, but I feel like the journey is more important than just getting to that finished product. So I want you guys to come along with me. So enough of the soppy shit. Tomorrow I'm going on this fucking huge hike. It's going to be eight hours. Film the most beautiful cinematic masterpiece that you ever fucking see your whole fucking life. I'm also a creative director. Like that's my new job title. I gave myself a promotion because like I own my own company. So I'm not a YouTuber or a filmmaker anymore. I'm now Zach Saeed, the creative Direct. You want some more of this bitch? Back in the EC, would you do this all year long? I'm just a regular, everyday, normal motherfucker. I told you in the first song, I'll tell you in another. I'm just a regular, everyday, normal I don't have a girlfriend, my hands my only lover I'm just a regular, everyday, normal motherfucker One night a week, my mom likes to cook me supper I'm just a regular, everyday, normal motherfucker And Michael Keaton was my favorite Batman I was walking down the street just the other day I saw these two fine bitches, they were walking my way Yo, what you girls doing tonight is what I wanted to say But suddenly I panicked, my voice started to shake So I put my head down and I just walked away I had a bus to catch anyway, it worked out great Got on the bus, put my headphones on and pressed play Cheryl Crow, James Blunt, a motherfucking ace of bass